How about Johnsonville and East Clareton? Uh, the Golden Flash is looking to lock down that region championship and a home playoff spot. Up in Turbyville, first quarter, we get the action going. Here come the Wolverines. Hasn't been the season they would have wanted, but could they pull off the upset early on? Didn't look that way. The fumble he'll picked up by Travis Wilson, and he would pick it up and take it all the way back to pay dirt. Wow. Touchdown there, defense wins championships. Johnsonville up 8-0 after the two-point conversion. Looking for a little bit more is the number one team in Class A, and leave it up to my man, Daquan Burroughs. He always finds a way to find the end zone. He did it again tonight. The 2022 All-Zoner would put the Flashes up 14-0. Second quarter we go. Wolverines. Looking for an opportunity to put the biscuit in the basket. Kate Cook goes to the air show. Kyle Booth in the end zone. That right there would cut the Johnsonville lead to seven. But that would be as close as the Wolverines would get. And that would be the only points of the game. Johnsonville hangs on to win it 14 to seven. They do in fact win the region championship with the win as they have one game remaining in the regular season. That will be on the 28th as they head over to Hemingway to take on the Tigers. As for the Wolverines, they drop to one and one, but very much are in the conversation despite a one and six record to make the postseason. We'll see how the rest of this thing plays out as we have two more weeks to go in the regular season. That's single A for you. The Golden Flashes, kind of that mantra. They just keep winning. They don't necessarily win pretty. They've had a lot of close ones this year, but here you are. 8 0. What else do you need to say? Win and go home, my friend. Win, win and go and, home. Win and go home. We That's stay in drive Class A. On 378 was a nice one for them, indeed.